Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, I want to talk to you about an easy hack to build out your SOPs or standard operating procedures. As you likely know, I'm a big believer in systems, processes, tasks, and SOPs. So that's the standard operating procedures. I'm a fan of them, not because I care about, you know, making maps or making kind of this process or system or things. Uh, I really don't care about that at all. I'm a fan of it because it allows us to scale our businesses really easily. If you have to do the work yourself, you can only grow to be such a size in terms of business. So generally most small businesses can't grow because the owner is doing all of the work themselves. And what ends up happening is they become the bottleneck in their business. They're the regulator when they can't do any more work, the business can't grow anymore. If everything circles through the business owner to make all of the decisions to do all of the work, ultimately they're the person holding the business back. And this is the reason that most businesses can't pass that million dollar mark. You simply don't have enough hours in the day to do everything that you need to do in a business to get to that level of revenue if you're the one that's in control or making all the decisions or doing all of the technical work. All right, so I don't want a business like that. I want a business that can scale. So where other people do the work and you know they can provide huge results for our clients, I'm really the one that's in charge of orchestrating that perfect delivery, figuring out what we want to deliver for our ideal client, setting that out, choreographing that perfect dance or orchestrating that perfect symphony or really customizing that great customer experience but ultimately I want other people to be able to replicate what I design so that they can do it quicker, faster, cheaper, and at scale. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do this easily. So how you build those SOPs, again, that standard operating procedures. Here we call them marketing cheat guides, but ultimately what it is is a process map that allows you to hand that off or delegate it to an employee, a VA, sometimes even a customer, you know, what ends up happening is there are a lot of times when we're dealing with our customers where we have to show them how to do something technical and we end up on the phone with them walking through this or we screen share and ultimately this is a poor use of your time or your employees time. If you had a step by step guide you were able to send them that was branded it would give them that perfect experience walk them through whatever it is that you're trying to walk them through and show them that you're a professional and have this dialed into the point where you have a step by step guide for everything. Um, ultimately, that's what you want to be able to do. The same is even true for process for dealing with an outsourcer. You want to make sure that your system is followed and that you have a process for everything in your business. All right, so without further ado, let's hop into this. I'm going to show you how we do this. All right, so if we were wanting to do something very simple, like grab a pixel, or we wanted to walk our client through how to grab a pixel, we would have to literally walk them through step by step or the same with an employee. How do you do this? Here's what you do, step one, step two, step three. And that becomes time consuming. And ultimately what we wanna do as business owners is we wanna do things once. Once we figure out how to do them and document them, we wanna be able to hand that off to VAs, employees, clients, uh, employees, or outsourcers so that we can leverage other people's time, expertise, and we don't have to worry about the quality control. What ends up happening when you have this step-by-step -step guide, training is really easy, quality control is really easy, people are either doing what you tell them to do or they're not. They're either following the map you gave them or they're not. They either have a job or they don't. So, all right, without further ado, so the first thing we're gonna do is hop into business at facebook.com, and what I wanna show you here is I'm gonna use a software, and I'm gonna hit this, capture, and we're going to start right here and what is going to happen now i'm going to show you how this software works to make your life easy so the first button i press is up at the top the next button i press is down here the next button i press is over here it's going to bring up the pixel this is the perfect situation i'm just walking you through how you would quickly grab your pixel so you then click on the account that you want to look at you would then click on setup you would then click on copy and paste, and then you would click here. So what I wanna show you now is this whole process has been captured in this software really, really easily. And I wanna show you how it works because this is something that you can put to use for building SOPs. It's something you could put to use for 
creating even a document for a client if you wanted to point out hey you don't have calls to action on your page this is a very very quick way to capture stuff I just want I'm not gonna go through this all I'll show you what it looks like in just a second but I just want to give you a quick glimpse of how this software works and so if you want to crop you'll go in you'll crop the way you want it to look then you just hit the uh, just make sure this is working here for you all right so we're gonna stop that crop that right and then what you'll see is you go back and it's cropped to the way you want now this is on the business page so what you would do is you would say step uh, step one click the icon at the top left and this is really easy for you to put arrows if you want to put numbers you know that becomes your process and then step two again the same thing you would go in you would crop only what you want them to see so you you know maybe we don't want my picture in there because that really doesn't add much value and then we're gonna say step two click all tools and again if you want to see this you can scroll it up so you can see exactly what the word is you can add the arrow again you could add the number this becomes really really easy to do if there's something that you wanted to get rid of in terms of you didn't want them to see you can blur it out for them and it goes through this whole process so you would literally go through building out this step-by-step -step guide this quickly each step you would just make a notation of what it is and then ultimately you're going to end up at the end with a step-by-step -step guide I'm going to not necessarily clean this up as much but just to show you how easy it is so then in step three click pixel try to just go through this as quickly as possible so I can show you what the end result is you know and again you probably want the notation of the number so this is one that you wouldn't want because it doesn't really add any value so we're gonna remove that it's nice and easy then you're gonna see this so then we're gonna say click copy and paste code again I like to keep them nice and clean so I would probably crop it and just make it what we want to see I would add the arrow to really make it clear and again the notation just to make it really clear to whoever's following the process what the steps are that they need to follow and you would keep going through this whole thing the exact same way but what you're gonna see is this builds a really really quick um, so I'm gonna make it just this it gives them a it gives you a really quick way of showing either an employee VA outsourcer what you want them to do in a fashion that's easy for people to follow and and that's ultimately what we want if we're training up employees or VAs we need to give them these step-by-step -step guides because it makes it really easy for them to deliver on your process so what ends up happening is you end up multiplying the amount of effort that you can put in once you figure out how to do something you document it once then you can hand it off if it's a repeatable process like this it's really easy to delegate to a low-end VA if it's a little bit more complicated or requires some expertise then maybe you're gonna send it to your WordPress person who's familiar with WordPress but you know maybe you want these seven plugins you show them the seven plugins you send them the guide they can follow that guide or you know maybe you want your setup to be a certain way and you walk them through that setup once now it may require they have a baseline knowledge but this allows you to make sure that they're able to do it exactly the way you want it done so again click on copy to clipboard and so on and so forth down the list and here it's just confirming that you have it so we'll we'll crop one more and that would basically be the end of our process and so we'll crop that now it is on your clipboard please paste into an email and send it to our web 
send it to our, you know, our project manager. Whatever, whatever you want them to do, right? So, I mean, if you were building this for a VA and they were doing this for you, or you know, you wanted that pixel, you would just put it in. Please copy and paste into an email so we have the pixel, right? Whatever you kind of want them to do, and then what you'll see is there's other things that get copied just based on what I clicked as I was going through this. So you'd click through that, and now what's going to end up happening is you've got a fully done document. We're going to export it to PDF. We're going to call it uh, Facebook Pixel. And then we're going to click Next. Now you have two options. You can upload your own template, which will look a lot nicer, or you can use one of their ones here. I'm just going to use a plain one just to show you what it looks like. So we're going to call it that. And again, remember, if you upload your own template, you're able to brand it the way you want to brand it. You're able to make it look the way you want. But the nice thing about this is it's really quick for you to create these. And it takes a lot of pain out of building them up. So I'm just going to move this over. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. But what it does is it walks you through every step. And now you have a process in place that is very easy for you to hand off to your VA, your employee, your outsourcer, or even one of your client's employees if you're walking them through a process. So hopefully you got something from this video. I'm gonna leave a link below to where you can grab this software. It's on sale, I recommend that you pick it up. It's only $39 and I guarantee that if you put this to use in your business, you, the ROI you're gonna get from this is crazy because we do this for our business and it takes a lot longer to do it in Word and copy the pictures and insert them in and ultimately make this. This is a huge time saver. I can't endorse this product enough. I, uh, I highly recommend that you grab it. I'll drop a link below. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, so I will make a couple of uh, AppSumo dollars by you buying it. If you don't want me to, by all means, just hop over to AppSumo and uh, do it on your own. And uh, I appreciate you watching. If you got something from the video, definitely hit the uh, subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate that. And if you have any questions or comments, definitely drop them below. I'll make sure to engage with you here on the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.